We were in England, and it was our first like big headline tour that I had done in the band. And we, I was on stage, and, I, and I, when I would go on stage in those days, I was always looking for a fight with somebody. I'd always want to, I would prowl around and try to find somebody who was flipping me off or something, and I'd stop the whole show to make a big announcement about, ah, I hate you guy or whatever. And, and I was doing that, and I just wasn't finding it. People were happy that we were on stage, and my tour manager, who's been with me since I was 19, he was laughing on the side of the stage. And I walked over and I was like, what? What are you laughing at? And he's like, dude, you're, everybody likes you here. Like, you don't have to be so angry about everything. And it was, it was honestly a big wake up for me because if you're lucky enough to get what you want and to have people care about your art and the things you create, then you should uh, be kind to them and, and appreciative of their support and not looking for the negative. Um, for so many years, I wasted so much time obsessing over the idea that I was going to turn people's minds around and that the negative things that they thought about me were unjust and I would say things that would, I would say one thing in an argument and then the, forever they would understand that I was the shit and they didn't understand anything. As I got older and realized that that wasn't as necessary, it became more about making a direct connection with the people who, who do support me. So uh, if you see me tweet or, or Instagram or whatever, I don't use social media as often as some people. I, I kind of sign on and post and then I kind of go about my day or whatever. I probably should do it more. But I try to get on now and respond to positive things exclusively and I never really engage in any of the negativity. Right.